Welcome back to another Delivered Reviewed. This week we have the new McSpicy plus Frank's Red Hot Sauce. So join me as I dive into the fiery world of fast food fusion. Let's see what it's all about. So this week, uh, no Miller and Carter. We didn't quite hit 20,000 views, so I thought, well, let's just leave it for next week. Plus, it is stupidly expensive, so I think next week will definitely be a, a better week. Hopefully, we hit 20,000 or go over 20,000 views, and uh, we'll do Miller and Carter. So McDonald's this week, with the release in their new items, or mainly the McSpicy as, as the burger, the Big Tasty is back as well. Um, I thought we'd just uh, do a, a review on these. So, first of all, mozzarella sticks, and they are good. Um, there's a lot of mozzarella sticks out there, takeaways, that the mozzarella just disappears inside the kind of too crispy coating. So, as you can see there, as you pull it, you can see the obviously the, the mozzarella kind of coming out, but at least it was um, full. And they're, they're good mozzarella sticks, crispy on the outside and obviously soft on the inside, with kind of like a herb crumb. Um, obviously, I think everybody knows that they've had them for years. Uh, the fries this week, yeah, I think the driver took a little bit long. I don't know how, since it's not very far away, but the driver took a little bit of time to get to um, to the house. So, yeah, the, the fries weren't all that, but they they were McDonald's fries. I, I think I'm, I'm, yeah, just I think they just need to do a different type of fry. They've done them forever, and uh, you'll see the first McDonald's in a minute. But the main attraction, uh, the McSpicy. Definitely was hot. I 100% say that. So um, hot and spicy, 100% uh, chicken breast crispy coating. So the lettuce, cheese, chilies, onions, and Frank's red hot mayo in a sesame seed bun. I didn't have the onions. Um, I think they kind of took over a bit too far. But the chilies I left on um, just because to add to that sort of heat with the with the sauce. Now you saw a minute ago the very first McDonald's and. From the first point of customer service, and there is a good video um, somewhere on YouTube about the history of, of McDonald's. I'll put that in the description. But since the McDonald's brothers died, clearly nobody gives a you know it's what what the hell? It, again, just throw it all together, chuck it in a bun. Uh, the bun was all right, but again, it's a kind of the bun breaks apart, so like freeze dried or whatever. Um, you know, obviously they're not cooked on, uh, made on site rather, um, toasted on site. But that's about it. And you'll see in a sec, obviously, kind of the profile uh, from biting that it isn't anywhere near the picture yet again. Uh, it's, it's every single time. Like, the marketing guys, yeah, okay, they make their money and it looks good. But the chicken fillet was itself a good, you know, decent piece of chicken. 100% chicken breast. I obviously can't argue with that, as you can see there. Um, the coating, again, with the McSpicy was already spicy. But yeah, the Frank's uh, sauce in the mayo, that it was really hot. Um, not to the point of being uncomfortable, but it, it was really hot for a burger. So I, I thought it was really nice. Um, again, with the lettuce, maybe not necessarily needing that. I don't know. Um, and onions possibly would have would have gone too far, unless you absolutely love onions. But, you know, that's up to yourself. So I'd say the burger was definitely good. Not living up to the standard, obviously, of the picture, but they never are. So... All in all, I would say the meal itself was was definitely good. It was it was different, and obviously the collaboration with with Frank's Red Hot Sauce was was definitely a good thing. They should they should do more of these um, in the kind of like clothing world. They do a lot of collaborations, uh, so you know why not in in the food world? So overall, I would say it was a it was a nice meal um, as far as McDonald's goes. Um, sweet chili sauce, and I think it was uh, sour cream that I had with it. It was a very nice meal, 
But one thing that was exceptional, and I honestly think they should keep these, is that right there. And it's the raspberry and white chocolate pie. Admittedly, it was looked like it'd been thrown over a fence, but, you know, apart from that, it was nice. Um, so they're crispy pink pastry filled with smooth white chocolate, ganache and raspberry compote. It was really nice. I mean, as I've said before, I love apple pies and this was almost the equivalent. Um, now you've got the kind of seeds in with, with the raspberries, which again, some people probably don't like that, but that was really nice. So I'd give that easily eight out of 10, but overall as a, as a meal, just because of the fact it didn't look anywhere near the McCrispy and, and the burger wasn't quite all that, plus the fries. This week, I'm just going to say 7 out of 10. It's, you know, McDonald's are up in their game with new items, but just not overall as a meal. So thanks for watching. Appreciate the views. And please, please subscribe.